by Level Gaming, and this is going to be an impromptu video that is going to be an answer to a question I've gotten a couple times now, and that's if a larger than four gigabyte card can work as the internal memory card. Now, this thing does come with the four gigabyte card. If you look here under my system info, you can see that it is a four gigabyte card that I have in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four gigabyte card out. I'm going to flash the backup image of the original software back onto a eight gigabyte card, place it in here and see if it works. So stay tuned and I will show you the process of flashing the card. All right, now we're going to flash the image onto our external card. Um, the program I'm going to use for that is going to be Win32 Disk Imager. Um, it's free. You can do a Google search for it. I am doing this on my laptop, so it did glitch out on me there for a second, and the resolution isn't the best in the world. But we're making sure that it is the right drive under that file which like I said for me is going to be E so both of those match you can see here it's the correct um, drive that is selected so you don't accidentally flash this image onto the wrong thing you're going to go to your browse you're going to find your disk image for me it's on the desktop here so just open that once you click on open here it should go ahead and kick it out to be the right image that you're writing and you want to go down here to where it says right um, right there and once you click on right yes we want to make sure because it could really mess up something if you send it to the wrong thing and let it go now this process takes is going to take my old beat up laptop here about four minutes to complete so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and pick this thing up where I left off all right we are fast forwarded to the end of the process like I said it took about four minutes a little over four minutes and um, now what we can do is uh, as soon as it finishes here we can exit out of the process here click on OK X and the card should be formatted now to go into the device so um, that's what I'm gonna do I'll cut it on and I will show you guys exactly what happens from there so stay tuned alright once I got this thing reflashed and put back on here as you can see I am a little bit different than what I started with because this is unaltered. I haven't changed any of the backgrounds or themes or anything, but I did put that eight gigabyte card flash with the original image on here. And it's, as you can see, when I go under system info here, I still have 3.27 gigabytes and my capacity is a little bit more a few megabytes that's because the original image just doesn't have some of the same stuff i have on my other card and as you can see putting an eight gigabyte card in here and simply just flashing the original over to it did not grant me any more storage in the system as what it recognizes and i don't know if this is because of the partitions or the way this thing is set up to recognize the cards but what I'm going to say is, as of right now, I do not know how to increase the internal storage. So your best bet is to just go with a bigger external SD card. I hope this helped with your question. And if you like the video, please subscribe.